Ms. Sachiko Tominaga, who works for IV Japan in Laos, held a kimono exhibition and Japanese tea ceremony at Sachiko's residence to mark the 60th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Japan and Laos. Details with our news team in the following story. The kimono is a unique garment that reflects Japanese culture and is widely promoted wherever Japanese people take root. One aficionado of this long standing tradition, Ms. Sachiko Tominaga, who works for IV Japan in Laos, held a kimono exhibition and Japanese tea ceremony at her house in Vientiane from January 23rd to 24th. <laughs> a wide range of guests turned up for the occasion, all eager to see the beautiful kimonos on display. Different styles are worn on different occasions. Kimono is very important in Japanese culture. Nowadays, uh, young people doesn't know how to wear kimono, but uh, the, we have to keep our tradition. I feel Lao young people, they are thin and blouse, very fashionable, very beautiful. I love it also. So I collected uh, about uh, hundreds of scenes from Shenkwan, Samnua, Sawanaket, of course Vientian also. Ms. Sachiko was also very generous in serving her guests with Japanese tea. And today I hold the tea ceremony because I want to introduce Japanese culture also. And to understand Lao people also, I several times send young artists for peace to Japan to introduce Lao culture also. So here in Laos, I want to introduce Japanese culture, and tea ceremony is one of my favorite hobby. The well-known tea ceremony, or sado, or chanoyu, demonstrates the traditional etiquette involved in preparing and drinking tea when one has guests. Uh, let me explain uh, some history about the tea ceremony. Tea ceremony itself, it comes from China in 12th century. And in Japan, many monks are using drinking tea uh, w when they have a meditation. Special powdered green tea, different from ordinary tea, is used. Powdered tea itself was first introduced to Japan from China in the 12th century. In Japan, Buddhist monks have traditionally used the tea to help them concentrate during meditation. A bowl of ceremonial tea served from the heart. The aim of the Japanese tea ceremony is to create a profound bond between the participants. In the 16th century, Senno Rikyu perfected the tea ceremony by incorporating the simple aesthetic value known as wabi or subtle taste and sabi or elegant simplicity and the concept of ichigo ichie in a lifetime, there is but one encounter. To make that encounter important, the host prepares with deep sincerity implements such as a hanging scroll and flowers, which are placed in an alcove. Through such activities, the guests feel the host's warm hospitality and are filled with gratitude. There are four major tenets of sado, harmony, respect, purity and tranquility, harmony among all people, objects and matters in the world, respect for all beings, spiritual purity is tranquility, thus the ultimate end of sado is peace of mind. The powdered tea is put into a teacup, hot water is poured on and it is whipped with a bamboo whisk until it foams when the guest drinks it. The event was one of many taking place to mark the 60th anniversary of Japan-Laos diplomatic relations. <laughs>